members approved spending more of your tax dollars on the city's homeless crisis. An ordinance passed this evening will fund four full time outreach workers who visit homeless camps and connect people with resources. Council members say it's a critical first step on the road to permanent housing. New on Nightside, Kyle Simchuk shows us how much it's all going to cost. But first, Kyle, not everyone at tonight's council meeting is on board with that plan. Well, yeah, Aaron, several people told council members that using the $160,000 of the general fund on this is a waste. Council members disagree and say outreach services have proven to be an effective tool in helping people get off the street for good. Now, right now, the city only has two part-time positions for those jobs, and this ordinance will pay for four full-time employees who go out and build individual relationships with people in homeless camps and guide them to services, even housing. Well, it sounds good in theory, but several people got up and lectured council members tonight, telling them to reconsider. Scrap this, because I don't think it's going to work. I think that you're going to find the hobos that are underneath our bridges, and you ain't going to help them. I urge you to be good stewards of the citizens' money and not create another public relations nightmare valued on this occasion at $160,000. Now, Phil Tyler, the former NAACP president, was referring to the council's decision to spend $150,000 on basalt rocks under I-90 to deter homeless camps. Now, Council President Ben Stuckert later apologized for that decision, but tonight he stood by the plan to more outreach to fund more outreach and called out the naysayers in the audience. We've been asking for more homeless outreach dollars for the last seven years because we know it works. My dad worked in homeless services for 38 years. And then to have people come down and lecture when we're trying to recreate the successful services, it's just awful and embarrassing. Well, council members passed the ordinance unanimously tonight, 6 to 0. And today, Spokane's Director of Community and Housing and Human Services told KXY that these four new positions will allow the city to reach far more people, especially in the summer months where more people tend to camp outside. Live in studio tonight, Kyle Simchuk, KXY4 Nightside.